I'm Amy and I work in the education department. And I'm Anna and I am the curator of Native American art. And we're standing in the Mesoamerican and South American gallery. And we are looking at a gold vessel. Yes, this is actually from um, Peru and uh, the culture would be Sikan. And it is a gold vessel or beaker. Now, Sikan, I don't see that on any other piece. Is this the only Sikan piece we have? Uh, yes, this is the only one. Um, it's related to other cultures within present-day Peru and um, along the west coast of South America. And gold work in particular was something that uh, metalsmiths excelled in. So it's um, typical of cultures from, from that region. It's sort of a large piece in comparison to some of the other um, vessels that I see in this gallery. I think its impressive size is due to the fact that it would have been used by a very impressive person. Um, this would have been used by a high-ranking individual. There would have been other vessels made and used at the same time, but they would have been made out of different materials according to who they were made for. So. Um, like Actually, a, yeah, all over the gallery there's a lot of ceramic. Ceramic, and you would have also um, had wood beakers or, or drinking vessels, and that is its purpose. This is actually um, a vessel to be used in the consumption of chicha or maize beer or corn beer. Would that taste anything like beer today? I don't know. Um, it definitely was an alcoholic, is an alcoholic beverage. Um, and was consumed on ceremonial occasions, uh, perhaps a political uh, event or occurrence. Now, the, it's face up at us, but it's actually upside down. So yes. <laughs> that seems kind of strange. Well, I think it's linked to the consumption of what would be inside of it, and you wouldn't be able to see the figure right side up until you had finished drinking what what was inside the vessel. So there's even more motivation to get to the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I think there's also a spiritual aspect to this being that's depicted in repoussé on the surface of this. Um, you know, you see the two uh, kind of stylized eyes and there's a mouth, perhaps with a tongue indicated sticking out through the teeth and... Yes, actually that mouth is really interesting. It almost looks like it has fangs. It does. <laughs> Um, and then there are ears indicated, and the figure is also um, shown wearing adornment in the ears in the, in the form of ear plugs or ear flares. So this was a particular deity? It's been referred to as the Sikan Lord or Sikan deity. It has like this interesting three-tiered neck. Is that to keep it standing? or? It's probably just decorative. Mm -hmm. um, and also a little bit of the metalsmith kind of showing off their skills on how to work with the material. How um, did they work with the material? Well, this would have been possibly pounded over a form um, or a mold, uh, but also would have been handworked as well. This, this particular gold is uh, probably an alloy of gold and other uh, materials, and we know that in part because of the uh, coloration that appears on the surface, you can see the kind of a red color coming through. And it, w when you say it could have been pounded over a mold, would that have been a mold made out of clay or made out of wood or Probably either? wood. Wood. Mm -hmm. um, and the metalsmiths enjoyed working with this alloy because it made it a softer material and more easily workable than solid gold would, would be. Okay. And why, how has this survived? Because there was a lot of pillaging, right? Well, it's, it's quite remarkable, actually, that a piece of gold survived um, the Spanish who came through and melted down, you know, hundreds of thousands of pounds of, of gold to finance their... Right, and their this is a large piece. This well, it probably survives because it would have most likely been buried with someone um, as an accompaniment for the afterlife. So probably with its owner, this would have been one of the riches that not only did he have with him in... in his real life on earth, but also in the afterlife, in the spiritual world. And a thousand years later, here it is. Here it is, right here in the, in the gallery.